will not die. People will be absorbed in streams of information. Computers will die. They're dying in their present form. They're just about dead as distinct units. A box. A screen. A keyboard. They're melting into the texture of everyday life. Even the word computer sends back what it does. Interesting, isn't it? About men and immortality. You live in a tower that soars to heaven and goes unpunished by God. And you bought an airplane. A strategic bomber capable of knocking out a small city. Technology is crucial to civilization. Why? Because it helps us to make our fate. Genius alters the terms of its habitat. We don't need God or miracles or fly to the bumblebee. But it is also crouched and undecidable. It can go either way. We want to think about the art of money making. have a word for it. Chromatisticals. But we have to give the word a little leeway. Adapted to the current situation. Because money has taken a turn. All wealth has become wealth for its own sake. There's no other kind of enormous wealth. Money has lost its narrative quality the way painting did once upon a time. Money is talking to itself. Oh, it's cost. The glow of the screens. It's the glow of cyber capital. So radiant, seductive. Does it ever stop? Does it slow down? Of course not. Why should it? Is time. 
living in the future. Look at those numbers running. Money makes time. It used to be the other way around. Clock time accelerated the rise of capitalism. People stopped thinking about eternity and they began to concentrate on hours. Measurable hours. Man hours using labor more efficiently. capital that creates the future. What is the measurement called in that It tells me how rigorous we need to be in order to take adequate measure of the world around us. Because time is a corporate asset now. belongs to the free market system. The present is harder to find. It is being sucked out of the world to make way for the future of uncontrolled markets and huge investment potential. The future becomes insistent. And this is why something will happen soon, maybe today, to correct the acceleration of time and bring nature back to normal world. You have to understand. The more visionary the idea, the more people it leaves behind. Visions of technology and wealth the force of cyber capital that will send people to the gutter to wretch and die. This is a protest against the future. They want to hold off the future. They want to normalize it, keep it from overwhelming the present. The future is always a wholeness, a sameness. We're all tall and happy there. This is why the future fails. It can never be the cruel and happy place we want to make it. We know what the anarchists have always said. The urge to destroy is a creative urge. Don't get destroyed. This is also a hallmark of capitalist thought. Enforce destruction. Destroy the past. Make the future.